We're going to go see Steve. Yeah, we're going to go visit the lonely daddy. I, I wonder if he'll lend me his plastic wig. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I thought we were in Seattle for a minute there. <laughs> Steve, great to see you. How are you? I'm good. We you? are very good, very good. Good to see you. Good to see you. I was just watching your video, the root beer paralyzer. Uh oh. Everything has been great. Yeah. Found everything. Yep. Yeah. I'm no sorry problem. about the, the weather. I mean, this is not normal. This, this is, is not out of your control. Actually, you know what? I'm kind of glad it's like this because if it was nice, I'd want to stay longer. I was watching the weather, it's going to get up to the 70 degrees in a couple of days. <laughs> it's going to be nice. Hey, you know, it's it's good. Yeah, I do what's going on here. I've been stolen. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. That's not bad. Uh oh. It goes like this. It goes like, uh-oh. The glasses go outside the mask. Oh, we got the mask. Now we're happening. <laughs> from this angle? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait till the date disappears. We have powers to make this happen, though. Hello everyone, this is the green mask. Who did you come to see? We came to see Steve, but this mask guy he is around here. Uh, Steve? Yeah, we're, we're from the planet Feckwig. Feckwig, Feckwig, Feckwig. Now I remember, this isn't my place at all. This is Steve's place. Why am I here? I'm gonna make a hasty exit. That's for sure. Uh oh. Be warned. Uh-oh. <laughs> Honey, what have you got us into? <laughs> Honey, you know what? We're going to be in a comic book. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> There's your plastic hair. You There's want the plastic hair. hair. Yes. Welcome to Load Me Daddy, the documentary. <laughs> the most load me documentary ever. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> It's great. <laughs> Stuff, I got this at the dollar store too. Oh. When you're a bachelor, you, you know, that's what you do. You I know. I I used to do that. I used to have an, my fridge. My fridge used to have just beer in it, and that's it. Beer and TV dinners. Yeah. Beer and not even TV dinners. No, I would go out for all my meals when I was a bachelor. Get my TV dinners at the dollar store too. Basically, I go shopping at the dollar store because I'm on the low budget. Uh, <laughs> The low budget bachelor plan, and uh, yeah, but you can get a lot of stuff at the dollar store. I will make myself at home. Make yourself at home. <laughs> get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to the Evie. Oh. <laughs> no, she's probably not on right now. Um. I need to turn that off. Okay. Do whatever you want. I need to turn this off too. <laughs> oh, by the way, this is for you guys. For us? Yeah, I copied this scene oh. from my music. Oh, Steve, that's excellent. So uh, it's not, I don't have the original uh, uh, software to do the labels. So I don't did, worry I did about the best it. I could with it. That's so some of my music. That's and cool. And this is a comic book that I wrote a story in. It, it, when John Lennon died, and oh. uh, there's a story by me. And there I am, Steve Keeter. So this is for you guys to take with you. That's okay. wonderful. Thanks. Don't step on this green mask there. Honey. Okay, we won't step on the green mask. It's on the floor there, right by. The green mask is on the floor. I don't know. He he disappeared. He that's happened. all that's left. Yeah. He's, the body's gone, but the mask remains. It's very mysterious. Very mysterious. Huh. It's mysterious. Huh. Huh. Since I had the Pappy Stew gave me. All right. I won, that in, I won that in the Elvis impersonation contest. All I did was wear this wig. I wasn't even really impersonating Elvis. It's just I put on the wig and the glasses, and nobody else entered, so I won. I like it, though. <laughs> Pappy Stew, if you're watching, I really like the hat, man. It's awesome. Gee, what a big camera you have there, Steve. I know, it's like 10 years old. It works great. It's a Sony. It comes like 650 bucks. It was a Christmas present back when my ex-wife used to like me. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I still have it. I don't have anything else. You gotta have love. Yeah. That's right. Love is harder to find than stuff. That's Absolutely, right. Absolutely, I agree. Stuff is easy to replace, but... Those are your wise words for today, folks. Yeah.
Oh, great. We got wise words. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, do you like that convection oven? I love it. It is a lot faster than a microwave. It's not faster. No. No. It's okay, so like it's, it's faster than a stove, that's what it is. Faster than a stove, but not yeah. faster than a microwave, but it's better than a microwave, because you get all the flavor and everything. It doesn't, right. You know. it doesn't what really impresses me is that you got back to playing your guitar. Well, yeah. This is the... Are we there? Yeah, we're on. This is the formerly sleeping giant. This guitar, I paid a thousand dollars for. It's not a rig, it's a Fender Stratocaster, an American-made Fender Stratocaster, but not a regular American-made Fender Stratocaster. The uh, pickups have been replaced with these really hot, like here's a Seymour Duncan humbucker. These are really hot, screaming pickups. So it's, it'll play pretty much anything, any style of music, but it, it's really made for, you know, if you want to rock out, this, this, this guitar really screams. And it's got like, you know what they say, great sustain, know that dude, but it's like, yeah, so I'm really, uh, when things were down and out, and I had yard sales and sold just about everything, I wouldn't sell this. And it sat in the case for years, hadn't played it, and now the Sleeping Giant has awakened. And uh, yeah, it feels really good. So, there you go. The Awakened Giant. So, that's my guitar. I like that when you do the, the pose with the, with the neck, like, yeah, when, yeah, yeah, when, when you do that, yeah, that, that's just good stuff, you're just, you're just hugging, you know, that, yeah, that's it, no, that's good stuff. My guitar. Right, so I chop up these toppings, and uh, there's mushrooms and green peppers and stuff that makes sense, but there's carrots and celery that doesn't make sense, and you wouldn't think it would work, but, but, it, but it does? It works, you'll find out. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think these are just onions. Uh, so, uh, uh, my, uh, my secret recipe, and now it's all over YouTube. You know, what you have to do. Uh, I mean, what do you do at YouTube gatherings, right? You film each other. Yeah. Everybody stands there with cameras. You got like a big gathering, you know, like I see these things with like knots and all these guys and Zipster and these guys and everything, and everybody's just like taking videos of each other mm -hmm. each other. Mm -hmm. Everybody's like holding cameras. It's like, you know, why don't you put the camera down? down the floor well you know 888 <laughs> can't do it can 888 was a bit like that and here i am going around through the whole place with a camera much like this one i'm just going around hey it's christopher mass hey, you know hey what? it's food it's food it's, it's, it's pretty freaking heating <laughs> excellent it's a timer we're gonna actually eat soon Perfect. See, see this guy over here see he, he waited for the burgers too and you see what happened <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Alas, I knew him well. Life is life is complex, and it's a journey, and and we just gotta, just you're on a ride. It, you ride the wave, and and so you're riding the your wave, and I'm riding my wave. We're all we each riding our own waves. It's easy for you to say you just came from the beach. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, even in the midst of maudlin sentimental material, there's always a little bit of humor, folks. That's right, even if we are maudlin and sentimental most of the maudlin time. Fetquick. 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 Fetquick.